For anyone who has ever wondered, Cassie, we want to see your hair straight, blah, blah, blah. Well, I think this is, I mean, I have posted a picture on Instagram and I have straightened it in a video before, but there, this is about as straight as it's going to get. I had to blow dry my hair because I just got back from the gym and I wanted to film this video for you guys because, well, A, I just, you know, a lot of you really, really want me to, and B, I mean, I really want to, and then C, I don't know how much longer I'm going to have daylight here, so I haven't had time to do anything with my hair other than blow dry it. Oh, I hate my hair straight. It just reminds me of the days of high school when I tried to conform and be someone I'm not. So <laughs> anyways, hello everyone and welcome to a review that I'm very excited and nervous all at the same time about. Based on the amount of makeup I have on my face, you have two guesses if you haven't read the title. It's probably gonna be either something on the eyes or something on the lips. Well, let me tell you, it's something on the lips. I'm gonna do my eye makeup later, but like I said, I'm, I'm fighting with limited daylight here. <laughs> so I have a liquid lipstick that I got as PR from the lovely Taylor of that Taylor. I'm so happy and nervous. Like, I I love Taylor and I don't want to hurt her feelings if I don't like this liquid lipstick. But, you know, chances are I'm gonna love it. So I've put this off for long enough. We shall see. You guys know, regardless of whether something is PR or not, I am gonna give you 100% my honest opinions. If you don't know Taylor, she's awesome. She primarily focuses on, like, foundation reviews for very pale skin and acne skin, or skin with acne, I suppose is the way you would say it. So, you know, she's a huge help in the beauty community here online. She's super sweet, super laid back. I thoroughly enjoy watching her videos and everything and she was able to collaborate with the company Be Hue. I've never heard of this brand before her and I only very recently got into Taylor's videos so I only very recently figured out or found out about this brand but from what I can tell they're like a smaller company and everything and they're kind of all about you know celebrating the beauty in every skin tone, every shape, size, everything. So you know sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm like getting all choked up. So Taylor like wrote me a little note and everything like can you see I'm like shaking like this is so sweet So it's just it's so cool that Taylor was able to collaborate with them and you know make lipsticks Well make a lipstick. They also sent me it looks like a little baby Maybe a sample of a different color, but I'm going to be testing Taylor's color today She did the marble packaging because she is all about that marble girl I think we all feel ya, <laughs> but this is the shade called 1548 which was the number of the apartment or house that she lived in during college when she started making YouTube videos oh here we go her college home so but either way I just think it's so cool it's so cool so here is the color I think it is beautiful it looks like a gorgeous I feel like on camera it's picking up a bit more orange than it is in real life it's like a cherry berry if you ask me. I'm very excited. I mean, it looks like a gorgeous, gorgeous color, and I really do think that this would work on any skin tone, dare I say. Like, I just see this working on everybody. If you're very pale, if you're very dark, if you are right in the middle, you know, anywhere in between, I think this is going to look good on you. So, this is a limited edition color, so I don't know if they're going to be coming out with any more batches of this. I know originally Taylor did a launch in December, correct? Like halfway through December, and then she just recently, this past week here, did another relaunch or restock. Some people are saying it's sold out online. I just checked today. It's the 23rd today of February, and I was able to add this to my basket and everything online, so I'm pretty sure you can still get this, but hopefully maybe they'll be doing more restocks in the future since it seems to be going so well and everything but you know time will tell that is not a decision for me to make but in any case I am very excited you know to promote Taylor and just talk about her lipstick product it really is it's so exciting and cool I came from the same boat that Taylor did just having YouTube as a hobby and then it turning into a career and it's just so cool to like put that work in and then to get something out that like signifies you're doing something right I mean what does that say about me and my channel <laughs> This isn't about me. This is about Taylor. Congrats to you. I'm so happy for you. Like, it is just, it is so, so cool. I'm so proud of you. Happy for you. All of that stuff. Taylor loves this formula of liquid lipstick, so in any case, whether or not you can get your hands on this shade, ah, time will tell, but in any case, this will be a review on the Be Hue liquid lipsticks. You know, I still feel like the review will be relevant and all that. So yeah, I think I have rambled long enough here. Let's go ahead, let's sing the song together, and then we can get on into testing this out. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. Poof. Look at 
get you a little zoomed in. Here is the packaging. It's pretty simple, but it's very cute. I like the stripe on it. Silver cap, acrylic type packaging. You can see I haven't even opened this yet. Oh, boop. All right, nice little doe foot applicator there. Nice slant to it. It looks very, I hate using the word average or typical because that makes it sound bad, but you know, I like this type of doe foot applicator. They work very well. Ah, very nice. Taylor said she was going for like a MAC lipstick kind of a smell. I would say so. Almost like identically. <laughs> so well done on that. It's just got that vanilla lipstick type of a smell. So oh, I have nothing on my lips as I think you can see. So let's, 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 let's do this. Woohoo, all right. Pigmentation is definitely there. Woohoo, look at that. Oh, Taylor, this has me all sorts of excited for you. So this so far feels like the kind of liquid lipstick that I personally enjoy. It did go on quite thin. I mean, I did have to do a couple of dips into the actual lipstick tube to get full opacity, but that being said, I mean, it wasn't streaky or anything, even though it is a thinner consistency, but it's still got like that oomph to it. Like the texture is really good so far. It does have a bit of a stick to it, as you can see, but who knows, maybe that'll go away once it fully dries down. I mean, it feels pretty dry and it's only been on for like a minute or so here. Couple of things to note because I forgot to, these liquid lipsticks are cruelty-free and vegan, which is awesome. So anyone can, or anyone should be able to, I think be okay with buying these. I'm pretty sure Taylor said that the Be Hue company ships internationally, so that's great. And they are $18 a piece for 0.32 ounces of product. Just look at that. Doesn't that just make you so happy to like see her little, uh, Taylor, I'm so happy for you. And yeah, so far I'm really excited. It feels very lightweight. I mean, I can tell that I have something on my lips, but it's not uncomfortable in the slightest. I personally like to feel like I have something on my lips, but it's like whipped air light, but not whipped in like that smudgy feeling. Can you, is it, are we good? Okay, it's not quite dry yet. Not quite dry yet. I'm gonna quit fussing with it. I'm gonna go and figure something out with my hair, put on my eye makeup and everything, and just get on with my day. I've just got some chores to get done, some editing to do. I am also doing a live mukbang today, so that will definitely already be up by the time you are watching this video, so... As always, I will put a card up in the corner here if you want to go ahead and watch that. It won't be live anymore for you, but I mean, you can always watch the replay if you want. But I'm excited to take you guys along with me. I'm excited to see how this ends up wearing. Oh, let's see. For the most part, it has no taste, but the slight taste that it does have, it tastes pretty similar to a MAC lipstick. So, you know, that very slight vanilla kind of a lipstick taste. I think that's gonna be it for now, you guys. It is currently 2.02 .02 in the afternoon. I will just be checking up with you guys whenever I feel it is pertinent. I'll show you before and after eating, drinking, all that good stuff. And yeah, in any case, I will see you all at the very end of the night. So I will see you all very soon. Bye.
good evening. It is the end of the night here. Oh, good lord, I forgot. I had my hair up like this. Oh, do you hear that voice crack? It's late. It is currently 2.20 in the morning. I did not mean to stay up this late, but I mean, it's really not that late for me, but like, it feels late. I guess because I woke up earlier this morning. I woke up way before I started filming this video. But yeah, anyways. I just like got caught up in doing YouTube stuff and editing and commenting back to people and blah 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 blah, blah and I just, you know, you know. <laughs> I feel so bad about not filming my lipstick prior to eating earlier tonight. As you saw, I did a live mukbang due to a request of you guys wanting me to do it live and everything, so a lot of you were able to see how this liquid lipstick wore, but like I completely forgot to take a lip shot of this product before I started eating. But I mean, in any case, I think things worked out. I'm also, oh my God. How's that? Lighting better? It should be. I'm not sitting in a dark room with just my ring light on. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it today. I, today is not a day that I was meant to film, is it? Well, I did it anyways. And I'm so glad I did. I mean, look at this, you guys. I'm so happy. Taylor, I'm so happy I don't have to give you and this liquid lipstick a bad review. This stuff is awesome. Like, I don't have words. Just, just look at this. I mean, as you can see, this is not perfect close up, but gosh darn it, you guys, this might be one of the most comfortable liquid lipsticks I have ever worn in my life, and also one of the most long lasting. Now, the only part where I say it's not perfect is that I did notice this earlier. For whatever reason, it's like coming off around the inner corners of my lips and like it just comes off, <laughs> you know, if you end up touching it and it's kind of causing the color to mm, not necessarily bleed, but it is starting to kind of get a bit smudgy around the edges, which I typically don't have a problem with, like, at all. But with how comfortable and everything these are, I have no problem wearing, like, an invisible liquid liner of some sort underneath, or, like, my Bite lip primer. Like, <sighs> I'm so happy. I would say when it reapplied, it ended up being a tiny bit cakey reapplying on top of itself, but really I didn't have to reapply. I could have just spot reapplied where I needed it on the inside of my lips where it had worn off, but like otherwise I didn't need to put it all over my lips like I did. I just did it because I don't know why, but like you could see earlier it does the lip liner thing and I think that's because like I said it does get smudgy. So there you can see, like, I don't know why it's just around the outer edges of my lips. Maybe it's because I have oily skin and so like my skin and oils around my lips makes it do that. I'm really not sure. But like I said, that's a very easy fix. And for the comfort of this, I do not mind at all. You still there. <laughs> Truly, you guys, my lips have not felt dry once today. I feel like I have a dry liquid lipstick on my lips. But like I said, my lips don't feel dry at all. They don't feel dehydrated. Like, it's super comfy. It feels super flexible. With most liquid lipsticks like this, I feel like I at least need to lick my lips or something. They feel, like, a bit dry like that. But this one, I haven't even felt like licking my lips. Like, I just... So whatever kind of, like, comfort drops are in this liquid lipstick, they're real nice. I'm really excited to try out the other shade that they sent my way, and just overall, I'm really excited to keep on wearing this, keep on supporting Taylor. It's just, it's a very exciting thing. So for my rating system, just in general, of these liquid lipsticks from Be Hue, I've got my pause rating system to see whether or not you are going to want to get your paws on this product. I have got P for price, A for application, W for wear, and S for shade range. For price at $18, they are price but I feel like for most indie liquid lipstick brands that's pretty pretty average so with a five being the least expensive and a zero being the most expensive I'll give it a four I feel like it would be very hard for you to find a liquid lipstick much cheaper than this you know so I think I'm gonna give it a four on the price for application it does go on very thin and you do kind of have to build up the color 
but I thought application was good, you know, it goes on smooth and creamy. I really didn't have any problems with application, I don't think, so I'm gonna give it a five. For wear, it's not perfect, as I said, but as I also said, the comfort is outstanding. So for wear, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. I'm gonna give it a four because of the bleeding. I'll give it a four. <laughs> I think I'm just so excited about how comfortable this is. I'll give it a four. Let's get rid of shade range for this one. Kerplik, because we're just doing Taylor's shade. Or should I give it, I'm gonna give, you know what? I'm making an exception for this one because Taylor, I really do think that this color would look good on anyone. People that are pale, people that have deep skin, people who have medium skin, whatever it might be, I think this is gonna look great. It's going to look very different, but I think this is a color that's gonna look really great. So I'm gonna give it a five on shade range. I'm giving this an 18 out of 20. Overall, it really is. This is a great lip product. I really have very few complaints on this one. It did really well on me and I'm just so excited. Just overall, this is this is great. Taylor, congrats to you. And B. Hugh, thank you for creating a really freaking awesome liquid lipstick. Like, I really am excited and I really do think that I can say this is probably the most comfortable liquid lipstick I've ever worn in my life. Is it the best? I don't know yet, only because of the outside lip issues that I had, but it's definitely going up there in my tops for sure, next to my the Balm Meat Matte Hues and the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks. You done good. So yeah, thank you Behu and also Taylor for sending this my way. I am so happy I finally got around to testing it out. As always, I hope everyone watching this video enjoyed seeing my review. If it was helpful and or enjoyable for you, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!